Hey, it's Smithy from Soccer M, back on Spurred On, and my video today is all about fantasies. And for me, Angelina Jolie, Jessica Alba, bath time, uh, sorry, wrong, wrong fantasy. Top 10 Tottenham Hotspur fantasies. Let's do it. My 10th favorite Spurs fantasy of all time would be to play on and score on the hallowed turf at White Hart Lane. And the reason that's so low down on my list is because, well, actually, I've already achieved it. Unbelievably, I got asked to play in a charity game at White Hart Lane two seasons ago. We lost 3-2 and I did score one of our two goals and it was in the Park Lane end, the end that I sit behind. It was a half volley from outside the box, wearing the full Spurs kit. It was honestly a dream come true for me. I will never forget that day. They didn't have any footage of it, but I've got a little sneaky, cheeky photo of it. Here it is. It wasn't against David De Gea or Peter Cech or Thibaut Courtois in front of 36,000 people. It was against a rather overweight competition winner goalkeeper in front of 14 people. But it doesn't matter. You can't take it away from me. Number nine for me would be less of a cue at Chick King. Now, everyone who goes to Spurs knows how important the pre-match ritual of getting a nice succulent bit of chicken from Tottenham High Road down your gullet before the game. Problem is, sometimes you get to the game a little bit late or you're just, you're just you know, slightly worried about can you get into the game to make kickoff, and you have to make that incredibly awkward decision about whether to get chicken or not because the queues are always gigantic. More waiters, more service, less of a queue at chicken, please. Number eight for me would be a tube station anywhere near the ground, please. White Hart Lane has got to be the hardest stadium to get to in the world. We still travel there because we love it and we support the best team in the country, no doubt about it. But it is the hardest ground to get to because Seven Sisters is absolutely miles away. So please, when we're doing the new stadium and taking all these factors into consideration, can we have some sort of access to the train or the tube station? Number seven for me is more toilets in the park lane end. Now, it's very weird that I'm talking about my ultimate fantasies and toilets comes into it, but anyone who sits in the park lane knows at half-time, pre-match, full-time, and you're gagging to go to the toilet, uh, but the queues are absolutely gigantic because there's only about two of them in the whole park lane, the noisiest part of the ground, and you have to make that difficult decision of whether to have a pre-match slurp or a half-time slurp or go to the toilet. You can't have both. More toilets, please. At number six, I had a bit of a laugh with the last two, but this one I am deadly serious on, and that is to get the drum man, the man who bangs the famous White Hart Lane drum back at White Hart Lane. We have got the best fans in the country. The atmosphere at White Hart Lane is incredible and we're in a title race. And there is no doubt about it that the atmosphere was massively generated by that random geezer who used to bang his drum. Dum, dum, da, da, dum, da, 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 dum. Tottenham, sea of white and blue fans standing up to the beat of the drum. And this is our most important year ever since I can remember because we're with the chance of winning the title. Please can we get the drum man, whoever you are, I don't know where you are, where you live, what you look like. If you're watching this video, let's start a petition and get the drum man back at the lane. Number five for me would be to be the PA announcer at Tottenham because I think that has got to be one of the best gigs going at the football club. And a PA announcer does it very well, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to take your job away from you, but if ever you can't make it, I'm always here. I just think the man that reads out the team sheet and gets the way from the crowd, the man that reads out the goal scorers. It's just, that is an unbelievable feeling to have, to be the, the person that reads out the name that Harry Kane has just scored against Arsenal and the crowd going absolutely ballistic. I mean, I would milk it. I'd, I'd say the goal score for Tottenham Hotspur against Arsenal is Harry Kane. I'd, make, I'd stretch that out into about a minute just to get the crowd absolutely going. Paul Coit, you can keep the half-time gig. You know, the, the, he does the pitch side stuff. Don't mind not looking to do that, mate, because, you know, let's be honest, at half-time, a lot of people are trying to have a slurp or queue for the toilet at the park lane end. Not interested in that gig. But PA announcer, that is a fantasy of mine, big time. Number four for me, Topical one with the Euros around the corner and I cannot wait for that. Come on, England. Uh, number five would be for me to win the Euros, but to have a Spurs player scoring the winning goal in the Euros. I, do you know what? World Cup final, I'll settle for that either. Either or, not that picky. But I just think I'm incredibly proud as a very patriotic Englishman and a huge Spurs fan that we have five players, and let's be honest, all five, hopefully none of them get injured, are likely to be in the squad for the Euros. And all five Spurs players could start. Here's another stat for you. Tottenham Hotspur, Danny Rose was the 76th Spurs player to play for England in our history. No team has ever had more English players in the England team, ever. Spurs have had more players than any other Premier League team or any other team for that matter playing for England. That makes me incredibly proud. And to see a Spurs player score a winning goal for England in a cup final, what a night out that would be. Number three for me would be to see Arsenal get relegated. And actually, it's not for the reason you think, because if they did get relegated, I'd actually quite miss the North London derby. It's the best derby in the league. I love watching Spurs players sticking balls in the onion bag, if that's what you call it. It is onion bag, yes, it is onion bag. I love seeing that. It's one of my favourite moments of the season. The reason I want to see Arsenal get relegated is because their fans, there's probably some of you watching this right now, are so busy on social media. Go out on a Saturday night, have a laugh with your mates. No, let's stay in and abuse Spurs fans. That would be why, because I'd love to see what happens 
when Arsenal get relegated, what would happen on social media? There'd be a meltdown. It'd be quite funny to watch. So that's my number three. Number two for me would be for Tottenham Hotspur to re-sign Gareth Bale. I've got to be brutally honest with you. I love everything about the Tottenham team right now. I love the gaffer, I love the players. But I, I do have a soft spot still for Gareth Bale. Every time I watch him play for Real Madrid, there's some, there's some pride attached to the fact that the world's most expensive footballer ever was signed by Tottenham. And he's, you know, he's winning Champions Leagues, he's playing in El Clasico's, you know, and he's a Spurs player and he loves Tottenham still. He's very fond of us. And let's be honest, the future is bright for Tottenham Hotspur. We've got a young manager, we've got a new stadium, the youngest squad, a hell of a lot of talent that I think we'll keep hold of. And it's not too far-fetched, this one, for Bale, when he comes to the end of his Real Madrid contract, to come back to Spurs. There's a lot of reports about his contract that we've got the first option to rebuy. What do you think? Is that ever going to happen in the future? We're only getting better, but Bale's only getting older. Will it happen? Gareth Bale, if you're watching, come back to Spurs. I love you. My number one Tottenham Hotspur fantasy of all time would be to watch the mighty Spurs lift the the Premier League trophy in our last ever season at White Hart Lane. Although I'm not going to be picky, if we lift it this year, I'll be more than happy. But the reason I say this is because a huge part of my childhood was not only supporting Spurs, but going to that football stadium. All of my Tottenham Hotspur memories involved going there with my family, with my friends, with, with random sometimes, sitting next to people you get a ticket off the day before and going to that stadium and experiencing so many highs and also some lows, seeing so many great players, so many great moments at that particular ground. It is a fantastic stadium. It has got so much history. There is so much atmosphere and passion in that ground. I love everything about it. And for me, if the defining moment of White Hart Lane would be to see Hugo Lloris lift the Premier League, the most famous league trophy in world football, in my opinion, at the ground, as the defining moment of our stadium, that would just go down in football history as one of the greatest moments of all time. And I'd love to see it happen. So that was my top 10 Tottenham Hotspur fantasies of all time. Let me know which ones you agree with, which ones you disagree with in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out at Spurred on TV on Twitter. And for more great content, check out Soccer M's YouTube channel. Laters. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on, and this is a brand new show. Ooh. It is Smithy. Say hello, Smithy. Hello, Smithy. Versus Slats. That's me. My surname's Slater. My nickname's Slats.